on-screen text. CDC Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The Importance of Childhood Blood Lead Testing. An animation. A child plays with a toy as his parents watch. Did you know that no safe blood lead level in children has been identified and many parents don't know their children are exposed to lead? Even low levels can cause harm. That was Carla's experience. She had no idea her son had an elevated blood lead level. Fortunately, she caught it early. Exposure to lead can seriously harm a child's health, causing damage to the brain and nervous system, slowed growth and development, learning and behavior problems, and hearing and speech problems. This can result in lower IQ, decreased ability to pay attention, and underperformance in school. These symptoms may take some time to be noticed. Most children have no immediate symptoms. A blood lead test is the best way to know if your child has been exposed to lead. For children ages one to five years, consider getting them tested for lead if they live in a house, apartment, or condo built before 1978 are an immigrant, refugee, or adopted from another country, or live near a known source of lead, such as a lead smelter or mine. Carla and her son lived in an older house. I'd been living in my 90-year-old home for about a year and a half, and the house was recently painted and there were no obvious lead hazards. Soil samples from my yard had less than 400 parts per million of lead, what is considered safe for a child's play area at that time when we lived there. Somehow, my son had a blood lead level of 11 micrograms per deciliter at age one. My son was exposed from the cumulative exposure to low levels of lead. In Carla's story, she highlights the importance of having your child's blood lead level tested. Your child's health care provider and most local health departments can test for lead in the blood. Children enrolled in Medicaid are required to be tested at ages one and two years or between two and six years if they have not had a previous blood lead test. These tests are covered by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Additionally, many private insurance policies cover the cost of testing for lead in the blood. Carla takes her son to a health clinic where a doctor pricks his finger and collects blood in a vial. The blood sample is taken to a lab and someone calls Carla from the clinic. Please check with your insurance provider for eligibility. CDC recommends that public health and health care providers focus testing efforts on neighborhoods and children at high risk, such as children living in a home built before 1978. But good news, childhood lead poisoning is preventable. Remove any lead hazards from the environment before a child is exposed to lead. It is the most effective way to ensure that children do not experience harmful long-term effects of lead. A view of the website cdc.gov slash nceh slash lead. If you own your home, have it inspected by a licensed lead inspector. If you rent, ask your landlord to have the home inspected. No safe level of lead has been identified for a child like my son who eats dirt or puts everything in his mouth. Be sure to talk to your doctor about blood lead testing for your child so if needed, you can identify next steps based on your child's blood lead level. Together, we can reduce childhood lead exposure. For more information, visit our website, www.cdc.gov lead.